So this is the integration by parts formula. And in this video, I'm going to derive it and talk a little bit about why it is what it is and go over an example of using it that hopefully helps illustrate what the heck is going on here. So to get started, imagine that we have some function, let's call it f of x. And f of x has, uh, can be expressed in a way that it's like an, one function multiplied by another function of x. So we can organize it in a way that is like u of x times v of x. No, and I'm just going to make up an example here. Like let's say that f of x is just equal to like 2xe to the 3x. And in this case, we would have one function of x and another function of x. So the whole thing is f of x but we could call this part u and this part v and this whole thing f. Like that sort of thing is what I'm referring to. So anyways, if we get rid of this, then basically if we have something in this form, um, let's see, maybe let's just drop the x's so it'll be a little bit easier to follow. So we have f is equal to u v. Um, if we take the derivative of f, that's the same thing as taking the derivative of the left side and taking the derivative of the right side. Now the derivative of uv prime, if you remember from the product rule in calculus one, that is the same thing. The derivative of u times v, the whole thing, is equal to the derivative of u prime times v plus u times v prime. But then if we integrate with respect to x, so we take the integral of uv prime dx, and then we take the integral of u prime v dx and then we take the integral of the next term which is u v prime dx effectively just taking the integral of both sides of this equation then the left hand side is just going to simplify to u v and then we can rewrite this as the integral of u prime is du dx so we can write that du dx times v dx plus the integral of u times the derivative of v, so that's a dv dx, and this was all with a dx, and now we can start canceling out some things. We can cancel out these dx's, and we can cancel out those, and we'll be left with uv is just equal to the integral of v du plus the integral of u dv. And then we can just continue on up here a little bit, and we're just gonna have uv is just equal to the integral. We can switch the order here. So we just have v du, so it's nicer to look at, plus the integral of u dv. And then we can rearrange this a little bit. So we have the integral of u dv on the left, which is just going to be equal to u v minus this other term, which is v du. And that's exactly what we had up here that we define as the integration by parts formula. And this is pretty much how we derive it, how we get to this, basically starting with some like random function of x. Now, if we actually want to use this in a problem, let's maybe erase this and uh, and come up with an example. Let's say we were looking for uh, to solve the integral of, uh, let's say, 4xe to the power of 2x dx, and we want to solve this by parts. Now, often you'll see people just write it as like the solution that we're looking for is just equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And if you are not familiar with this, it's like kind of confusing. So you're like, what, what is all this stuff? Um, but in the derivation of the integration by parts formula, we kind of just made up some random function f of x and then the defined parts u and v of, you know, like a, a product rule that multiplied out to it. Um, when we're solving integrals of this equation, we're not actually starting off with u and v because u and v are over here. Um, but you notice here the left-hand side and the left-hand side here, they're both equal to the same thing on the right. So what we're doing is we're, def we're going to define part of our expression or part of our integrand here as u and part of it as dv. Now, we're going to define part of it that is easy to derive as u and part of it that's easy to integrate as dv. In this case, let's just take 4x as u. And we're going to take e to the 2x dx as dv. And then we're just going to do exactly that. We're going to derive u. We're going to integrate dv. So we have u is equal to 4x. And that means that du dx is equal to 4. 
and dv is just going to be equal to e to the 2x dx, and then the integral of that is going to give us v, which is 1 half e to the 2x. And now when we look at the integration by parts formula, we have something for u, we have something for v, just right here, u and v, but we have something for du, we can just see it, du here is just equal to 4 dx, and then we're also, we also have something for u and we also have something for dv. So basically we can fill in the left hand side, uh, we're just going to have u times v, so it's going to be 4x times 1 over 2 e to the 2x minus the integral of 1 half e to the 2x du. But we also know that du is 4 dx, so we can simplify a little bit, this is going to be 2x e to the 2x minus 2 times that whole integral, which is just 1 half e to the 2x. And again, this is going to simplify a little bit more. So we have 2e, 2x e to the 2x minus e to the 2x plus c. And then we can kind of just lastly um, both group those in together. So we have e to the 2x times 2x minus 1 plus c, which would be the solution to the integral that we were initially given. So when we look here at the integration by parts formula, like you're going to see this on formula sheets. Um, and the important thing to realize when you look at it is that we're not initially given u and v. We will be initially given u and dv. Basically, we'll be given an integral like this, and we're just going to assign part of it to be called u and the other part of it to be called dv. So that's what we're given. Um, we'll have to calculate what v is, and we do that by taking the integral of what we defined as dv, and we always pick one to be like so that it's easy to take the integral of so that we can find it quite easily. And then also here, once we know what v is by calculating it, then we're going to have to substitute it into this integral. And du as well, we need to calculate that as well. So we define some part of it as u, we take the derivative of it, and then we reorganize for du, and that's where that du comes from. And basically this is all equal to the u dv, the integral of u dv, which is also equal to i, because the way that we are given i in the problem is the integral of this thing that we call u dv. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, this is kind of like considered the long way to do it. There is a fast way, and I'll show you some example problems using the long way, and also some example problems using the fast way, as well as a video just going over and introducing the fast way. And uh, yeah, hopefully you find these helpful because once you know how to integrate by parts, it's super useful and you can actually get through problems pretty quickly using it and it's quite a good method to be using. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next couple of videos where we'll go over some more examples and explanations of integration by parts.